Hello everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing five of the same plant with different devaluations to my pecuniary assets. So today I wanted some theater, so I decided to choose the forever dramatic Calathea. I was hoping to get something that arrived a little bit disheveled, like stepping out on the town with lecherous conviction post-brad and waking up in a stormwater mitigation canal with someone else's clothes on. Additionally, I now have an excuse to shoot across multiple days, as some of you have so inelegantly pointed out with my last videos. It takes me a long time to get into character of my best person. The rest of the world gets like that brown piece at the end of a banana. And some people come here and they don't even like bananas. And I'm like, why are you here if you don't like fruit? Okay, let's not let these plants rot in their pine spruce melange transcontinental dispatch receptacles. So our first one is from the sill and the bottom is a little bit bottomed. And we have a picture of Tasmania. Oh, it's Ohio. Acknowledging the contemptuous views of Calatheas in this community, how do you think rattlesnakes feel about their namesake being used for this plant? Just FYI, I ordered all of these Monday, and it is now the day before I regret my decisions yesterday. Oh, this is nice. I like this. To be human is to experience biophilia. Okay. I probably shouldn't have lifted it out like that, but whatever. This leaf grew through the soil chunk and it's like, it's stuck. The website also offers faux plants. If you've given up on life both metaphorically and literally, I believe this is a four inch pot. I tried to get them all the same sizes, but I may have failed. I find it interesting. The picture in which this Calathea is represented in is further from the window than the faux fiddle leaf fig. And I might as well assume they only have this off-cream corn silk beige miniature labradoodle solely to match the neo-contrarian artisanal yak fur rug. Personally, I would have went for the off-tope corn stalk somewhat ethically sourced ivory cavapoo, but that's just me. Rich people things. But they may have a point. If you match your dog to your couch, the hair just felts to it and it becomes one as a keepsake. You will have, long after, your light bisque somewhat carcinogenic talcum powder, chiffon, bichon, puget, kicks the bucket. Furthermore, the website says that the Calathea rattlesnake is pet friendly, which is why the miniature off-cream corn silk beige labradoodle is depicted here. I find it to be kind of a misleading and dubious term. Generally, most animals suspect to be brazenly gallivanting our domestic realms are carnivores, which means they don't have the gastric physiology to be breaking down large amounts of plant matter and therefore will throw up in the most inconvenient place in your house to possibly clean. How my cat managed to vomit on the ceiling? I don't know. All I have to say is don't bring your cat Lathea couplet to the Sistine Chapel. The guy that does the painting there is retired. Regardless of that, the argument that dogs are omnivores is somewhat contentious, meaning your dog's also probably going to throw up. This is an Amazon package. Hopefully it contains my Calathea, but it could be dog treats because Amazon keeps sending me dog treats. They are tempting. I'm a vegetarian, but this could be considered freeganism because they did not want the treats returned to them. This is $20, by the way. Free shipping. We have a care card. It's taped in here. Someone's used tissue. No, it's just <laughs> it's tissue paper. What do I look like? It's so little. It's a little bit smaller, but you know, it was basically $10. So I kind of wanted these to be all the same size, but the only descriptor for the pot size on the 
Sill's website was small. What that means, I don't know. I thought it would be like four inches, but I guess it's not. It's more like five, which makes a big difference in this case. So that's it for today, Friday, and I hope no plants arrive tomorrow in the event I might wake up in a ditch. So Plant Arena and I have a very close relationship. She is my freestyle dance instructor. She just has this restrained chaotic energy about her that's like throwing a Roman candle into a safe. It's like doing a bump of cocaine before showing up to jury duty or trying to conceal a raccoon in your shirt while going through airport security. And I think that is it. Nope. There's a little care guide thing. How did she know it was me? I've got to read it to you. Dear Nick, thank you for bringing light and levity into the plant community. I hope you enjoy this rattlesnake Calathea as much as I do. How'd she know? She knew. She, just knew. she knew. She knew. I don't think I've ordered from her before. I'm just joking. This doesn't, this doesn't have anything on it. But I'm gonna pretend like she did anyways. Ow. <laughs> let's, let's came get back to what we're doing here. I forgot to tell you I ordered this lady palm to get free shipping. I wanted a wench palm, but they ran out. I felt like it would reflect the atmosphere here better. The packaging is lovely. We have some nice jute string to really cinch in the waist. some paper to cover the soil, and one of these. This looks lovely. It has the longest leaves of any Calathea rattlesnake in my possession thus far. Let's see if someone else will derail that. Maybe it'll be Logies. So I've ordered from Logies, yes, times. To the detriment of my juvenile savings, I discovered the company when I was about eight. One day my mother gave me her credit card to make an order and I was reading the exhaustive list of plants that I was probably going to kill to the telephone operator. And they were like, where are your parents? I was not a proficient reader by any means. It would be like calling a piece of driftwood a strong swimmer. But just imagine an illiterate third grader calling you to order a hibiscus. That was the level of confused probably going through their minds. I unsurprisingly ordered another unwarranted plant while I was at it. I mean, as you know, I live in a jungle, but what your previous may not be informed to is my illicit Tarsier husbandry. There's a nest right there. And if you wake them up, they die. A lottery ticket? This kind of looks like a lottery ticket, which is fitting and yet ironic because in both scenarios, you're throwing away your money. The holiday we never thought we needed. September 9th, 2023. We've got a care guide. We're going to go over these at the end of the video and compare all of them. Time for the moment of truth. What is this? What is this? What is this? Two points off. I don't know how many points I'm ranking these by, but it's definitely at least two. Who thought this was all right? It doesn't look damaged. It's just a little crimped. Oh, they've gotten, they have brown noodles. They have brown rice noodles instead of white rice noodles. They used to have the white rice noodles. Besides this leaf, BDSM, you know, looks pretty good. I must show you my other plant. The Tarsiers are going to be clambering upon. This is a grass jelly vine, and like everything from Asia, it's purported to make you immortal. I can't wait to watch everyone I know die. Only kidding. 
I don't really care if you believe me or not. Beyond that, a study finds that this plant can increase spatial learning and learning flexibility in mice. So there is still hope for my smooth brain. It's here. Let's get into it. So I ordered all of these Monday. It is now the day after I was still buzzed at work. I first want you to see the pecuniary damages to my bank account. <gasps> it is Jesus. Look, I told you this was a Christian channel. Why is there a cross here? They knew me. So tired after riding this. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's open ya. Right? Yes. Okay. This one did not have a choice to not come with a planter. <laughs> To scissor or not to scissor. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, I got our scissors. They were conveniently in the attic. Ooh, I've never seen adhesive like this before. It doesn't take much. My smooth brain. <gasps> oh. Revival Samaris. So that is what a hundred dollars worth of paper products looks like. Now I know why this was so expensive. There's a bug in these parts. If, you know, if you are an aardvark, I'm sure this would be very stimulating to you. I don't know. Is that normal? I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about that bug. It's like a centipede or something. Not like a big centipede, but it's just like, like this big. So technical difficulties, we're back. And my hair is down, if that matters to you. Based on the comment section, I've come to understand that the catalyst of your algorithmic patronage is due to the tumultuous anecdotes adjacent to my personal affairs and the impecunious Pantene commercials. So I already gave you waking up in a stormwater mitigation canal. So here's I would put the rest on my only but it was disabled for disseminating prevarications about the aquatic ape theory. I just wanted to add some spice and perspective on evolutionary primatology and they just couldn't handle it. I just wanted to talk about some wet apes. Even if it's not true, isn't the notion of merm apes just whimsical? I think my hair flipping delirium has worn off, so Let's roast this more. So I discovered a stain on here that I did not make. I believe this to be from the unnaturally green moss adorning the top of the pot and the water from the soil. So yes, couture. It's one of a kind. My sometimes erroneous conclusion is that the plant drooled on itself during shipping. According to the website, the pot that I chose is called Scandinavian Ceramique. And the color is Sand, Scandinavian ceramic in sand. But I assume the former is how they would say it for the price. If anyone here is from Scandinavia, let me know if these are common. If you find these in the forest with like elves and whatever you have up there. Do you put salted fish in these? I mean, I guess, oops. There's more moss than their soil. I was going to say, what? Foam? Oh, there's another bug. What is that? This is riddled with bugs. We're gonna do a dual, a dual capture. Look at all of this. 
free protein. Can someone tell me what this is? What is this? Do you wanna play with the rest of the wood lights? You do do. Okay, I'll be right back. As I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted by the subterranean invertebrate, you could put your pickled herring like right in here. Right? It's not sealed very well. That might be a problem. I've never seen so much life in one pot. Apparently, this plant has a stylist, which illuminates the fact of why it was so late. Does Rihanna show up on time to the Met Gala? No. The Met Gala starts when she finishes her Prosecco. Do you think this is made out of reindeer poop? Is everything in Scandinavia made out of reindeer poop? Partnerships. Become an affiliate. Well, I don't have to worry about that. I know this video is about the Calathea, but there's so much emphasis about this pot. The height is rounded to the third decimal place. Maybe they got an aerospace engineer to make the pot. In conjunction with a plant stylist on this website, we also have a plant doctor. Now they only list their first name and I can retrieve no other information about them. So whether they have a degree in plant pathology is kind of up in the air. The main care tip, and you would know how I feel about this if you watched my video about it, is to not only mist your calathea, but to literally bring it into the bathroom when you shower. I'm sorry, I cannot remember to bring my socks into the bathroom, let alone an entire plant. Let me just demonstrate this. Oh, I forgot my calathea. I hope you liked my impromptu strip tease. I still don't know where my pants are. Like the pants I was holding, like I'm wearing like, yeah, I don't know where they are. Remember I was like, those pants, not these pants, not my jorts. Okay. Not the bruises I gave myself from riding that box. Ow. Keep soil moist, but not muddy. It's kind of an obscure way to word that. Going back to this work of art, the website proudly boasts that it is waterproof. I'm really glad it is. I just, there's been so many times where I've purchased pots and they dissolve. I have concluded the overwhelming amount of money I have spent on this plant is going towards jobs that don't exist. Can I have a job that doesn't exist? Joke's on you, I already have one. It's this. Although I have slightly more utility than telling you to lug your Calathea in and out of the shower. Although she missed another absurd way you could increase humidity around your Calathea for a short time. In the spirit of the plant doctor's advice, I'm going to give you a high effort, no result way you can increase humidity around your Calathea for about five minutes. And I can't believe that she forgot this. Okay, so you're gonna take your Calathea and you're just gonna lean over it like a little bit and just breathe on it. <sighs> Plant care is self care. Before we move on to me erroneously ranking these plants, I have received an email from the company slightly less than one elephant's gestation period after the plant actually arrived. It is my plant doctor access link. So let's see what minutia is within this. I have to create an account. What is this? I'll be back. My mother's maiden name. Eight characters, an uppercase between 23 and 11. So for my account, I need one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one even prime number that's not two. Wh what do you, what? There are no even prime numbers that aren't two. In the semi-aquatic whipomorph, there's only one extant whipomorph. 
There's just one species of hippopotamus. Why would they just not ask you to put hippopotamus? This is a whole lot of baloney. Plant doctor. Plant. Contact a plant doctor. Something seems off with your plant. <laughs> We're here to help. Please tell us about your plant along with its lighting and care conditions. It's in my shower. So we're done with Leon and Jorge. On a more positive note, I found my microfiber headband behind my Tenanthi. Here, I'm gonna have you guys wear it. Oh, you look so, I like it on you. It's, it's great. The first is size. Plantarina and Logies are kind of neck and neck, but the rest of them are various sizes. This one is the largest, but this one has the most growths. It's very dense. Look at, look at all those growths. I'm so impressed by this one. I really like it. We're now going to do by price, most to least, and we're only gonna switch it like this. This was $24.50, this was $19.50, and I did not have to pay any shipping on it because my order was over $35 because I ordered the wench pom. With the combination of my grass jelly vine, this order was over $35, and I still had to pay shipping. So Plantarina is better than Logis in this case. I always knew Amanda would be there for me. Help. This had some dead leaves at the bottom, and there are bugs in this. So this is what I give it above ground. So now we will see below ground. Oh, that's not... I do not know about this one. The roots don't look particularly vibrant, and we have another Cretaceous creature at the bottom. It's quite wet. Ooh, yep, see? Well, that's, that's okay. We've got some nice white roots. White roots. White roots. Oh, see, I told you, the sill did its job. This plant is like phenomenally one of the healthiest plants I've seen. Is this worth $48? I think considering there's free shipping, yeah, maybe, sure. Amanda, looks good, it looks good. Amazon, um, it's a little bit brown, but I don't think it'll be that detrimental. Low jeans, about the same as Amanda's. Oh my God. Like the, the soil is gonna fall all over the place anyways. So let's just knock some off. Is it gonna die? I don't think so. Not in my care, but not great. Like, hold on. Yes, no. For roots, the only two I will switch are those. The soil with the Leon and George one is very barky and organic. That's why there are so many creatures in it, because it's decomposing. The sill is Coco Coir. These three are peat and perlite, which is what I mostly use. So I'm gonna talk about the soil now. I would say for the home and not the greenhouse, I would group these together and put this here. This is 100% coco coir. It's very absorbent. If you're growing this in a greenhouse in Florida, that's great. At home, you kind of have to be careful. Perlite and peat are my go-to. Good absorption, decent drainage, no decomposition. I'm not contacting this company about the condition of this Calathea. I do not believe this was due to shipping. I believe this was due to overwatering because I got this a couple days ago and it's still wet and the type of soil that they used. So for the price of this, I believe it should have been flagged before it came to me. Care instructions that arrived with the plant. I'm not counting website information, just whatever arrived. The instructions for these two are pretty bright and direct lighty, but they suffice. So it comes like this, and then you flip this open, 
and it gives you some instructions on how to take care of your calathea, which I think are fine enough. A nice illustration on where to put your plant in a room. On the back is a QR code for your nebulous plant doctor. Where I believe this company falters is focusing on too much of the aesthetics on the plant with this moss and this Scandinavian pot. So this was unironically pretty nice, but I definitely paid for it. The sill offers some unpacking instructions and a QR code for the care of your plant. From Amazon, I got this. It's got some basic care, but it's not too extensive. Logis has a very extensive sheet on how to unpack your plant. On the back is general plant care, so not specific plant care. It's just, I guess, for all plants. I don't really understand why they couldn't just put a QR code to their care guides. My lady palm came with this. I couldn't find one for my Clathia, so she's in for last. So what are my final thoughts? George and Leon spent so much time on aesthetics, they forgot to actually send me a healthy plant. Honestly, everything is beautiful. I love this little card situation. I think this pot is nice. It's not worth $94, but yeah, I just, I don't, I don't understand. The sill exceeded expectations for me. If you're gifting a plant to someone and you want something that's really full and healthy and vibrant right off the bat, I would go ahead and recommend them. I would have personally purchased this because I can turn this into this in about a year or less. Calatheas grow pretty fast. Logies was kind of expensive for what this is, $25. Plantarina was satisfactory. I'm like dancing now. So personally, out of these plants, I really don't think there's any point in ordering any of them, but these two. Lastly, did we get Calathea fished? Have you ever been Calathea fished? Along the same lines, would anyone like to catfish the catfish show by pretending to catfish me on the catfish show? Now bonus points, if you smell like chicken McNuggets and your profile icon is an old picture of Justin Bieber, Amazon. The leaves in the listing look a little bit larger, but there's less of them. I'm gonna say it's a wash. Miss Plantarinina, honestly, it looks larger. And there are definitely more leaves. This is supposed to be 8 to 11 inches tall. We're at 13 and a half. <sighs> Amanda. You know I have not been drinking. Logies did not give me a picture of the actual plant it was sending. <laughs> but it's pretty much what I expected for a four inch pot. Le fil. It's not as flat as the picture. The leaves maybe look a bit larger. Definitely not as dense. Leon and Jorge. Leon and George. It looks larger. In terms of foliage, it exceeded expectations. So that's it. Good on you for making it to this part of the video. Patreon and cup of coffee are helpful to me and comment down below which designer mutt you're going to get to match your carpet. So thank you so much for watching. So I'm not all alone. Also, I need my headband back. Sorry. I would like to thank the photosynthetic philanthropists listed on the screen for stepping in as my sugar daddies while I'm out of commission. Your patronage is undoubtedly, profoundly, and dearly appreciated. Best wishes, Nick.